you don't don't twist my words. Like I couldn't physically go and do it, no. But I enjoy eating it. I don't think about it. Of course. Oh, you're putting effort into thinking about it because you're trying to make a change. Do you think your enjoyment matters more to you than an animal's entire life? Oh, that's a pig farm, barrowing shed, where they have their babies. Do you, do you eat bacon? Do you like animal suffering? I have them as well. Do you? Do you like suffering animals, do you? You like eating animal cruelty? Well, imagine teaching your kid how to support animal cruelty like that. It's pretty noble, all of them. Hey, brother, I'm how are you? I used to work in an abattoir. Did you really? Comment, yeah. Oh, why not? Talk, talk to me about it. Don't be afraid. He can't comment. He worked in a pig abattoir. It's interesting that you would say that. You'd, if you didn't want to make it, <laughs> why walk up and go, I can't make a comment because I worked somewhere where you'd be really interested in. Yeah. See you later. Why didn't he just walk off and not say anything? Tease. Yeah, he just deliberately wanted to tease us. That's what you pay for. Hey brother, how you going mate? Do you know what this is? Yeah, I, I work at a vegan restaurant. Oh, do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm a meat eater myself, but I'm... Uh, what is yeah, this? That's a gas chamber by the looks of it. Yeah. You know about gas chambers? Well... If your friends at the I restaurant know, told you about Yeah, just bits and bobs. <clears throat> so I know it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking to like... You know, I don't need to, I know it's bad and I know eating meat's bad and I don't need to hear about it, I just want to see it really. Like you, don't, you know it's morally bad yeah. to do it, to yeah, eat yeah. meat and... Yeah, I know a lot of things that we do is morally bad to be fair. But do you think there's it's... anything as morally bad that we do every single day as this? What, as eating meat? Uh, as like, as, yeah, like, normal, well, okay, the, the result so of eating meat is like that. As a that. normal day-to-day -day person, probably not, but a lot of people do. I mean, there's a lot worse going on in the world. I mean, that right there is pretty sick. It's not very nice, but at the same time, I can't exactly say anything because I eat meat. You know? Yeah, I would argue there's not anything worse going on in the world in terms and of numbers. Good on you. Because, I mean, of, because of the numbers, like, just statistically, it. like, there's 80 billion land animals and trillions of marine animals. The suffering is unmatchable. Yeah. Like, we kill more animals in four weeks than the number of humans that have ever existed on Earth. How could anything be anywhere near as bad as this no. not not in terms of if you equated started calculating the suffering yeah yeah pretty nasty stuff i don't even know what's going on here though he's taking the semen out of they they put an electro ejaculator in the male to force him to ejaculate and then they get the semen and they stick it in the female so they so That's, they're forcing them to breed basically yeah they rape the they rape the cows to get her pregnant and then uh she has a baby nine months later and they take the calf away then they get the milk from her that's how they get dairy are you recording all this? No, this is investigators all over the world. Some in the UK, some in England. Uh, I've done a bunch of my own investigations so as well. See you on that. Yeah, yeah, I, I am in this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've done. A, a bit, I've been in a lot of UK farms. It's something that I'm definitely very interested in. Yeah, because you don't. I mean, I always ask people like, could you do this type of thing to an, an animal? Yeah, why not? I just, I just wouldn't want to hear it, see it. Yeah, if like animals pleading with you not to kill them, yeah. you couldn't just kill them for a sandwich. No, no and, well. <laughs> That's what I mean. Don't don't twist my words. Like I couldn't physically go and do it. No, but I enjoy eating it. So it's hard. It, you know, mm. there, I'm just one person out of millions of people in the world. You'll never. I, you know, I hope you can do what you're trying to do and change what you're trying to change. But I enjoy eating meat. So did I. Fact. So did I. I used to love it too. Yeah. But I didn't think that my enjoyment mattered more than no, what was and, caused and from it. Good on you. Good yeah. on you. You know, and and good on you for spreading your word for me. Like. Is, it, is your, do you think your enjoyment matters more to you than an animal's entire life? God, I've never thought of it like that. Because you, you, what, never took what type of enjoyment, to you can be that. happy without me, let's yeah, face of it. I could. You, there's heaps of better things than, yeah, than eating meat in life, is, like family and friends is. and really good experiences. Yeah. So really it takes not, nothing much away from you. No. But what does it take away from the animal? Loads, yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. It, it causes them extreme suffering. It takes away their entire existence. More are bred into, suffer, into existence to suffer. Yeah, and this is just, course. we're talking about enjoying meat, which yeah. is really like, take it away, you'll still be happy, mate. You'll still yeah, be, of course you would. You'll be I'm strong, you'll be happy. In, yeah. I'm not saying that, I've, just, I've been brought up on it. I've been yeah, so, brought up on me, I've always eaten it. I, I enjoy the flavors. The texture, I the get, taste, I get it, I get you it. Know, and, and I work in a vegan restaurant and it's the type of restaurant that they really do try and um, give that substance that that feeling in your mouth yeah. when you're eating it that's yeah. what you would if you was having like you know they do like uh, buffalo chicken wing uh, buffalo cauliflower which yeah. to obviously be buffalo chicken wings yeah. and they do and and i just don't get the same flavor and, and that is it that's the simple reason i enjoy that so flavor. it's a flavor yeah 
Could you imagine, right? Say aliens come here and they landed on Earth, yeah. and they go, "What the hell are you doing? This mass murder of animals?" And we said, "It's because we like a certain flavor." I know. I know. It sounds bad, doesn't it? Do you think it's just? A, do you no, think that those things? Think, like, if you put it on a scale, well, I'm sure it would probably happen, and I'm sure we probably wouldn't be able to stop it. So, yeah, you know, we could do these things like this to try. And could stop you imagine it. if aliens were raising us to slaughter us yeah, for a flavor? Yeah. Seems pretty crazy, man. Like, I would never. I, I would never do this. Like, I certainly wouldn't live on a farm and, and raise cattle to kill them and eat them. Hmm. Like, not that that makes me a better person. I just don't feel... I've got I've got a dog. Like, I just don't feel that I would be Ooh. able to go into a job actually, where I kill animals. You've got a dog? Yeah. So, that's interesting, actually. So, let's just say there were dogs. You know what dogs are like, actually. Yeah. They've got a personality. They come... Yeah, of course. These, all, all these animals are similar in, in intelligence to dogs as well. Yeah. They've all got personalities. It's just they've only ever known... This. suffering right but if you get them in the right scenario they can be themselves and they chickens ducks turkeys uh cows pigs lambs they all are like dogs in there it's similar very similar so if there was a dog on the other other end of your decision so you go in you buy a burger you know a dog's getting tortured often and having the head cut off for the burger would you do it i mean as it because it's a dog no. but let's just say the flavor was the same was a little bit better even was a little bit better than the flavor Let's just say it's ten percent better than any meat you've ever had, and you just like fuck. Oh, no, but but then when this that hot, probably because you, you when, would do because, <laughs> because when wagyu came, like when everyone started rearing up about wagyu, the new steak and it's the new flavour. Yeah. Everyone moved on to wagyu. When a new meat and it tastes better, just because it's called dog, that would be the one reason why people would say no. If it wasn't called dog, I guarantee you people would be mm. eating it. But do you see there's a disconnect here? Because you, you just now we're going, it's just dog meat. But yeah. I'm talking about there's a dog. Yeah, yeah, I understand. They don't want to die. They're screaming, yelping in pain and getting executed, having their skin torn off of them. Yeah. That's the result of buying it. See, people always, they just go, there's the meat, there's the wagyu. But you forgot about the cow and yeah, the head yeah. getting cut off. No, and I, the, I, yeah. that's what I mean. I haven't, but I just don't, I don't think about it. Of course. Oh, you're putting effort into thinking about it because you're trying to make a change. Personally, like I go in, I work six days a week. I feed people vegan food. I put a lot of effort into the food that I serve people. I'm interested in it. I enjoy it. I like learning different ways of coming up with them sort of textures. Yeah. But I just won't ever go as far to say I don't believe. Who knows when I'm 60? I'm only 30. I don't believe that I'll go as far as to say that I won't stop eating meat, and that, that's really sad. It, it is, you know. But what do you think it would take for me to stop? I don't know. Probably watching 24 hours of this shit. To be what if they put? What if? What if? What if they're in an alternate universe? They put you through 40% of what animals have to go through yeah, in order to become your sandwich. This is what I'm saying. These scenarios that we can say, what if we could do this? I imagine a lot of people say. I'm trying to get you to like yeah. uh, empathize or put yeah, yourself yeah. in the position. Oh, that would be pretty bad. I mean, if you put all these <clears throat> in a position where they're raping you to make yeah. you have, birth, have kids. Well, whatever. you're in a knockbox and you're about to face your death. Yeah, yeah. And you or just gas uh, chambers yeah. or whatever. Yeah, gas chamber is horrible, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nasty. But again, I see this, but I will still go home tonight and I can Disconnect. guarantee you my, my main meal will have some sort of meat substance in it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But good on you for not. Yeah. Good on you for not. It's the disconnect, brother, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Look take care, bro. Good luck. No worries. That's what disconnect does, eh? He can easily just plug in and plug out. That's interesting. Never met someone who works at a vegan restaurant, cooks vegan food, feels bad for the animals, but won't stop eating meat. <laughs> But you know, they're the famous last words of someone who will go vegan. I will never go vegan. Yeah. Uh, how are you going? I watch all your videos. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice, to yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Hello, how are you? Yeah, we nice went vegan about too. seven, eight years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. God, yeah. I've been vegan as nearly as long as me. Yeah. Oh, have you? It's not been that long for you. 2013, I went vegan. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. We watched, it, we watched um, I think, it was a conspiracy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Kind of that was like the wow. starting point from there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But I thought I thought I recognised you. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ran down because I thought, oh my god, they're watching the gas chamber footage. I've got to go tell them about it. Oh, it's I know. terrific. It's so yeah. And the yeah. thing is, people don't realise how intelligent animals are. Like I, I, I work with animals. Oh really? And from like birds all the way to alpacas, they yeah. all have their own personalities. Yeah. They're smarter than people realise. I know. It's then we give them credit for even, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think more people need to just understand what's going on and then just make the They right need to experience. connect to the animals, you know. Absolutely. Because yeah. now they see them as food animals and they don't, it doesn't matter if they, 
they get treated a bit cruelly here and there like that. I don't think they understand that it's like how bad it actually is that there's like an individual in there. Well, we, we're in the, in the hospitality industry and for us, like where we work, we have a section with like loose roaming animals. Yeah, we've got our own sheep now back there. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and like when the guests come and they start interacting with the animals, you just see this moment where they go, I literally had no idea. How smart they are. How smart. You know, sheep can recognize a human's face for up to six years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah you work like, with them, they, you can- Each yeah. sheep knows our different personalities. Oh, uh, so they know who you are. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, it's crazy. So when, yeah. when you, when you, yeah, make that connection. And we know each one likes a certain thing, and then like one likes its head to be scratched and like stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. they all have their own idiosyncrasies. Yeah. So like when, when you know that, when you work with animals, you, you can never, you can never even think to eat another animal ever no. again. It's so I, I share your videos all the time. Oh, that's uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So Appreciate it. Fully support Thank you. What you do. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good work. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. Yeah, nice you. to meet you. Bye.